Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveDiets.com. We made some German chocolate cakes in the last video, some raw German chocolate cakes. So look at that video. We put it in the freezer for 10 minutes and now we're going to put um, the filling in between each layer and then frosting on top. All raw, all vegan, all great for you, gluten free. So put the cakes aside and we'll make the filling first. And to make the filling, you take a third, one and a third cups of walnuts and grind it up in the food processor. And a third cup of honey, which this is a third cup, but actually I'm just going to eyeball it here. Walnuts and honey, one of the best things on earth. A dash of vanilla. A dash of salt, and Himalayan crystal salt, and the pièce de résistance, a cup of coconut, which um, this is coconut, whenever we get a coconut, we just run it through the food processor and then dehydrate it so I can keep it until I need it. And then you just stir that around and that'll be the filling. So you want to make the filling as sticky as possible so it can stick to your cakes. I'm going to put in a little bit of the date water which I had sitting here from soaking the dates in the um, for the German chocolate cake part. So you want it to be able to stick to the cake. You could just put in water if you didn't save your date water either. That's looking good now. You can tell that's real coconut in there. Okay, so we put that in between our layers. And then if you've used one big cake thing with the parchment paper, you can just take the parchment paper out of your cake mold and flip it over. Be very careful, of course. And for this one, I'm going to use a spatula. And put one on top of each other. This one on top. And then we'll make the frosting. Mmm, that cake mixture is so amazing. It tastes just like German chocolate cake. Use okay, it for the frosting. You take a third cup of dates, and I already put them through the, um, this magic bullet. You could just use your personal blender. And then we need a tablespoon of caribou cacao powder, a dash of salt, a dash of vanilla powder again, or you can use vanilla extract. And then, surprisingly, olive oil. And olive oil makes a really good frosting. It doesn't change the taste of your frosting too much. A lot of people would think coconut oil, and you can use coconut oil, but it hardens so much. So we want to just use a teaspoon of coconut of olive oil. And then we're going to zip it around in the blender again. See if it needs a little bit more date water. date water. I'm just scooping down the uh, sides of the blender. Ooh, this is going to be so good.
spread that on top. And it will truly be a happy birthday to me once I eat this birthday cake. And fortunately I have to eat this within five days <laughs> because these fresh, beautiful, raw ingredients will go bad. So try to eat your cake in five days, which is why I made a tiny one. So to your help from Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food club and from FaveDiets.com enjoy your German chocolate cake.